Welcome back to Ferocious Education, this is Ed. Today we are going to be talking about SOS Limited, going with the ticker SOS. I'm going to be giving a quick of an update, following by technical analysis. So, let's jump right into this one. SOS Limited or SOS Cloud, as there might be some name changes along the way. So, through this one I did cover it in my last video extensively, but here we have a few updates. For instance, on May 18th, 2021, SOS Limited launches 6,039 mining rigs as it scales up crypto mining operations. So, in here, they have been known, or at least for the last uh, few months, they're actually scaling in and riding on towards the Bitcoin and Ether mining at a massive scale. Now, the next one here on May 11th, SOS subsidiaries receive MSB license from US and Canada, continuing progress towards the launch of its digital asset exchange, which is another thing as well for cryptocurrency exchange platforms. And the last thing, on the 7th, SOS announces completion of Phase 1 of Libong Mine receipt of 575 Ether mining rigs. And you get to see that a lot of the recent business, at least, has been pushed towards cryptocurrency and cryptocurrency mining. Now, there is one issue. SOS is based in China. And based on some recent news, for instance, China cryptocurrency mining business is hit by Beijing, Beijing crackdown, and that also is fueling towards Bitcoin tumbling. That aside with as well Elon Musk really just sharing in that Tesla would no longer uh, take in Bitcoin for the vehicles because it's not green and kind of changing the sentiment on Bitcoin or at least his sentiment on Bitcoin that Bitcoin at least might not be the future and you have to look for something greener. And so another thing here is that the state itself committed or committee led by the vice premier Leo He announced that the crackdown laid on Friday as a part of efforts to fend off financial risks. It was the first time China's cabinet has targeted virtual currencies mining, a, a sizable business in the world's second biggest economy that some estimate accounts for as much as 70% of the global cryptocurrency supply. Cryptocurrency exchange Huboy on Monday suspended both crypto mining and some trading services for new clients from mainland China, adding it will instead focus on overseas business. And so definitely it is being hit hard, SOS at least for the last couple of weeks, and this news definitely doesn't help. And the reason is, is that it's based in China, even though it does say that they are looking towards Canadian or US or North American expansions, that news alone doesn't help its case. Now we can take a look into the price over book that seems to be somewhere around 161. The SP500 average there is around 4 and the price over sales is 1128 which is 2 to 3 times more than the price average in the SP500 in the market in general. Now another thing to take a look at is institutional buyers. Looking here into institutional buyers, you're starting to see that well, they have been bullish in the month of May for the most part. Some stocks have been, or some companies, institutions, have been hedging their own position by puts and calls. But in general, there is a good amount of activity in the month of May. Now, generally speaking, this kind of activity hasn't been seen before. But in the last two weeks, you're seeing a lot more institutions buying than adding. But a big part of that comes in before the tumbling off Bitcoin in general. And again, just because institutions are doing something, it doesn't mean it's always right. Before we move on towards technical analysis, make sure to click on that subscribe button right here on the right and turn on your bell notification button. It helps my channel a lot. A lot of you folks, amazing folks, have been watching me but haven't done that. You can always change your mind back. Click, click a like as well. And if you'd like to join our free Discord, it's in the description below. Totally free. And I'll tell you more about it at the very end. So let's move on towards technical analysis. Now time for technical analysis and what we're seeing here is that the technical analysis price point is currently lower than all the moving averages which indicates hence bearish but the 10 SMA the green line is above the 30 MA which is bullish 50 SMA is above the 200 SMA which is also bullish which is a good thing. Now the 80X here doesn't show you much other than a sloppy movement below 20 that is usually the case but currently it's at 2292 which is really showcasing that there is potentially a trend forming. But currently, you don't want it to form on a negative trend. Hopefully, a reversal will follow. William Percent R shows it's highly oversold, and the MACD here, you're looking at it to be somewhere on almost a zero histogram, which doesn't really show a movement either ways, which is a little bit of an alarming thing. 
Now, momentum. What you're seeing here on momentum is that the stock itself is at negative momentum, which is a bearish thing. Now, if we were to take a look into the stochastic fast and stochastic slow, what we're seeing here is that it looks like there is almost no momentum, no strength into that movement, but it could be a time to scoop up some more shares. And the moving average bands, it's currently expected to trade 405 on the top and 331 on the bottom. Meanwhile, the Bollinger Bands expects for this one to trade between 474 on the top and 261 in the bottom. Now, the Fibonacci retracements shows you a significant resistance level at 467, 682, 854, 1027, 1274, and 1587. The only support on the Fibonacci retracement sits at 122. Now, on a price line action, we're seeing a very strong support sitting at 297. And then below there, you're looking down at $1.98 and then down to $1.15. Significant resistances 339, above there, 401, 475, 549, a strong one at 599. Another stronger one at 766, 865, 966, 1061, and going on towards 1239. Comes to the question to Ed, what do you think about this one? I can ramble on and on about Bitcoin and China involvement and the amount of massive mining operations that China does have and the control that SOS would be under uh, the Chinese government based in China. And so there's a lot of different parameters coming in towards this and including the price of cryptocurrencies. So there is, a, it's a little bit more complicated than saying bullish or bearish. But in the shorter term, they have raised a good amount of cash. And they almost are all, all betting in and all in into the cryptocurrency movement. And the question comes in towards, are they going to be able to pull this off without any collateral damage? And are they going to be able to pull off this if Bitcoin tumbles down to sub $10,000? Now, that's an extreme case, but it could be very much possible. You don't know what China does. Perhaps it can just literally uh, cut off networks for cryptocurrency minings. They have done that before in a sense of having control into the mining operations from what I've read. And so it kind of comes in almost as a little bit of an equilibrium there. And you're thinking, well, can SOS hedge their own positions too, perhaps? And so in my perspective, I really doubt that they're going to be able to pull off the same amount of revenue that they would have. Uh, when Bitcoin was almost $70,000. Currently, it's sitting anywhere between thirty dollars and $40,000, depending on when you're watching this video. And it comes into another part is that, do I think SOS can pull this one based on the previous sales? Now, the price over sales indicator is based on a 12-month trailing, so it's not fair to judge them through that. But when it comes in towards things like, let's say, in the future operations, they are diversified a little. It's not just cryptocurrency they're betting on, but a little bit of different bets here and there as well, like insurances, etc., rescue services, that they're able to leverage onto that to make sure to invest a bit more in that just cryptocurrency. However, that's not what they're known for. They're known more for the cryptocurrency part. So... If you're investing into this one just for Bitcoin mining, this was a very dangerous bet. If you're investing as a company in whole, this might be a bit of a good play, yet it's still a bet. What do you think about the sticker? Make sure to mention it down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like, and have a wonderful day. Now, if you made it this far into the video, I do recommend that you go ahead and join our Discord server. There's a lot of amazing folks in here. Uh, we do a lot of discussions here into the trading floor throughout the day. A lot of people are in there, and we do ask questions. You can ask me uh, any question you would like on there. We do post research and DDs, and we hold weekly uh, chat sessions. And we also do have a lounge in there. So make sure to actually join that and join the fun there. Have a wonderful day and a good one.